Hello friends, a very good evening to you all. So in this session what we are trying to uh, learn is calling a SSIS package from another. So what, what we are trying to see is we have a ma master package, uh, we call it a master package uh, and from this master package we try to execute or, or run three other packages which perform a particular operation for us. So it could be and also we would see how we can pass a value uh, from a variable from the master package to the other three child packages that we have for this demonstration so what I have here is to I have opened two solutions uh, I have created first I, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you I have created three SSIS packages to load files uh, from the flat files into SSIS uh, sorry into SQL server tables so each of them are simply having one data flow tasks uh, one data flow task which loads data from uh, SQL server uh, from flat files into our SQL server so we'll look into this in detail first let's try to see what we got in the master package so what we have in this master package is we have a sequence container which contains a script task to check files if it exists or not so let's take a look at the variables we have four variables the first variable is var dump directory which uh, has the scope of master package uh, for the complete entire package and, and this points to a directory so this is the directory path so so if we look at this this path what we see here is we see three flat files so each of these flat files are having some data uh, to be loaded so each of these files have some data for us and which we are trying to tar uh, target and load them into our SQL Server tables. Now, uh, what I see here is I have three other variables, which is var run package one, package two, and package three, which are of Boolean types. So we'll take a look what the, what does this this mean. So let's first try to see what we have in the in the script task. In the script task, we are trying to read the variable dump directory and and then write the variables the three variables that we have instantiated or initialized so if we look at the uh, uh, the variable we see that the default value of run packages is true that means it says we are trying to run packages so so virtually uh, what we are trying to do is we are trying to run the package only if the file is available say in this location in the dump location we get only file one uh, and not 2 and 3 so we will just execute package 1 and not 2 and 3 and, and uh, other scenario if we get any I mean in any combinations of pack, uh, files that we get either 1 2 or 3 or 1 and 2 and 2 and 3 or nothing at all so so we'll uh, act responsibly and appropriately and run the packages if and only if the files are there in the dump directory uh, now let's go back what we see here is we are trying to check in the script task what we are trying to do is we are trying to check the dump directory path uh, we are trying to check the dump directory and, and see if the file exists if these three file exist and if, if they uh, and if the file doesn't exist uh, I mean if it exists we set this property to false now we'll see what this what does this false mean so if the file exists we are trying to set this value as false so just keep that in mind uh, otherwise it will remain as uh, true next what we do is we go ahead and clean up the tables on our SQL server what we do here is uh, uh, we clean up uh, the staging tables or, or, or the load tables which are of the name load file 1 2 and 3 so that's what we do next what we do what we do here is we pull out the execute package task this is the execute package task so we pull out uh, this task and then we configure it so what we do here is uh, we are calling we are trying to call these packages from the file system you can you have the option of using file system or SQL server so uh, I I want uh, I have placed these files these uh, files that I have created these independent SSIS packages that I have created here I have placed them as in, in, in the package folder so here lies all my three packages so what I do in the master package is I create I, I select the option file system 
then it, it's, it, it asks for a new connection. So you go ahead and then create new connection, uh, which would point to the files, which, it, which would point to the location of the file or of the SSIS package that we are trying to run. And, and then set it as OK. If you look at the uh, file, this actually, if you look at the connection manager at the package load file 1 DTSX, we see that this points to the packages in the dump package folder. Fine. So likewise, we have done for the three of them. And additionally, what we have done here is if we see the properties, what I have done here is if you look at the properties, if you, if you see, we are using the property disable. We are using the property disable and we say that we, uh, we pointed to the value of var run package one. So var run package one uh, by default is true, which means the disable will be true. So the package will remain disabled. When the package starts to execute, uh, by default, all these three SS, uh, SSIS package will be disabled. It is going to check for the file and if the file is existing, it is going to overwrite or, or, or set the value of these variables to false, which means we are disabling the fall option, which means we are enabling them. That's uh, what it means. So we are going to run the packages only when the file exists. So likewise, what we have done is in the expression, we have, see, we have configured it to, to the respective variables. So that's all we have done. That's about it from the master package. Now let's go and, and see what we have in the independent packages. So independent packages, each of them, uh, I'll try to explain one of them. So each of them uh, have one data flow task of which we have a var dir variable declared of string types. Now what we do here is we have a flat file source and an OLEDB destination. The OLEDB destination points to the table uh, to the respective table. So for third package, it's load file three. That's it. And the flat file source is the source where the package is present. So currently what we say here, if we look at the package, what we say is in the expression, we try to use the connection string. And in the connection string, we say where dir's value plus file three. Now why we have done this? here comes the option of passing variable so what i want to do is i also want to make the uh, make the source files directory as dynamic so what i am trying to do is i use the uh, package configurations so you we use the package configuration and in the package configuration we configure the parent package variable var dump directory to point to var directory which means the var dump directory's value in our parent package is this value. So if we, if we look at this is the value of our var dump directory. So let's just use this and let's go back to our independent packages. And what we have done in the expression for this connection string is we are trying to append file three to this value. So what would this mean? is we are trying to say that okay you pull the files from this location so this forms the complete connection string of our files so remember why why we have done so now what we that's the connection string configuration in the in the expression and in the package if you see what we have done is we have we have tried to add uh, let me just show it okay what i do here is i remove this let's add one more so what I do here is from the option, we select the parent package variable option. We say var dump the directory, var dump directory, and then we point it to our packages var directory variables value. Select this value option and say next. And that's all you do. So this means that you we are trying to point the var dump directory from the parent package or, or pass the value of the var dump directory to the var directory of our local packages. That's it. Similarly, the same uh, we have done the same thing for all the package the the, uh, the package three and the package one. So let's try to run this package now and see 
if we are trying to uh, if we are able to load the first instance what we'll see is let's try to dump uh, load all the three packages uh, all the three files kept at this place so we pass this value dump directory and dump files and let's run this package So it, it should load uh, all the three uh, files into our uh, loads tables. So, right, so yeah, it has it is running all the three packages, all the child packages. It, it's showing you all the child packages. So, well, let's go back on our SQL server and, and check these. All the three have been loaded. That's one for you, two and three. Uh, next, what I do is, let's try to test once more. Let's remove the third third file and just load one and two and see how if it's it's loading one and two that means the third package will not run in this in this scenario so it's only one and two that will be uh, run You can see third is not run it's just one and two that has run from the master package it is called just one and two now let's just take a look see the third table is empty next what we do is we'll check at the dynamic option next what we do is we take these two files or say we just take one file and we put it in a different directory so we have pasted file 2 at our directory with the name folder 1 so let's just try change this we'll control the the child packages from the parent package folder 1 so we just call it folder 1 so this directory path will be passed on to the child packages uh, to check for the files and, and load them so it is only the second package which will run in this scenario right so the third package has not and the first package is not run it's just the second package which is run and, and amongst the table is just the second package or the second load load table which has uh, been done so in this demo session what we have seen is how to pass a variable from a parent package to the child package and also how we can call an SSIS package uh, from uh, uh, another SSIS package how we can uh, call uh, we can call it a master and a child whatever in, in whatever way so we are just calling three packages from from a from a master package and additionally we have learned how to dynamically disable uh, packages based upon a particular scenario uh, thanks friends catch you up in the next uh, video